So this question is asking you to calculate the unit digit of this expansion. Okay, before coming to this, uh, coming to the explanation, let's consider a simple scenario. Okay, I'm just taking a random number. Let's say you have 512 to the power of 4. I want to calculate the unit digit of this number. 512 to the power of 4, which is same as I can say it's going to be 512 times 512 times you're multiplying it four times, right? 512 times 512. I want to find what is the unit digit. So remember, the unit digit of the product is only based on the unit digit of the numbers you are multiplying with. So I can say the unit digit of this entire product is only based on the unit digit of the numbers you are multiplying with. That is, it is based on this two. So I can clearly say that the unit digit of the final product is same as 2 to the power 4. So here 5 and 1, these numbers is not affecting the unit digit of the product. Only 2 is affecting the unit digit of the product. Always keep in mind. So I'm going to apply this rule in this question. So question is asking you to calculate the unit digit of this expansion. So these numbers 5, 7, 2, 4, this number is not affecting, this numbers is not affecting the unit digit of the final product. So only what is affecting here is this 2 is affecting. So I can say the unit digit of the final product is same as 2 to the power this big number. It's going to be 9 times 7, we can say it's going to be 63 times 5, again it's going to be 5, 1, 3, 1, 5 times 3 which is nothing but uh, uh, 945 right so that's going to be the the power here 945 so i need to find what is the unit digit of 2 to the power 945 again it's not a practical idea to list down like you know multiply to 945 times right it's not a practical idea so there should be some other logic or there should be some other way to answer the question so in these kind of scenarios, what you need to do is, so try to identify a pattern in the powers of 2. So I'm only focused on the unit digit. So try to find a pattern in terms of unit digit when you take the powers of 2. Okay, let's try it out. Okay, let's try one by one. So let's say I'm taking 2 to the power 1. What is the unit digit of 2 to the power 1, which is same as 2? Right now I'm focusing only on the unit digit, which means the last digit. Next power is 2 square which is same as 4, the unit digit will be 4. Now I can say 2 to the power 3, which is nothing but 8, the unit digit is 8. Next you have 2 to the power 4, which is 16. So I'm focusing only about the unit digit, which is 6. Now you have 2 to the power 5. So you don't need to multiply 2 5 times here, right? 2 to the power 5 is same as you can say 2 to the power 4 times 2. That's how you get 2 to the power 5, right? And I already know what is the unit digit of 2 to the power 4, 6. So you just need to multiply 6 times 2. So I can clearly say that the unit digit is going to be again 2. 6 into 2, that is 12. I'm just taking only the unit digit 2 here. So again, I'm repeating here, it's going to be 2 to the power 6. You just take the previous power, that is 2. You multiply again by 2, that's it, right? So it's same as 2 to the power 5 times 2 will give you 2 to the power 6. I know the unit digit of 2 to the power 5 is 2. You multiply again by 2, you are getting 4. So now you can see a pattern. See, 2, 4, 8, 6. Again, it's 2, 4. Let's say 2 to the power 7. It's going to be again the same. I'm taking the previous unit digit, 2 to the power 6. The unit digit is 4. I'm multiplying by 2, which is nothing but 8. Again, you can say 2 to the power 8 is nothing but. You take the previous 8, you multiply by 2. That's it. It's going to be 6. So you can see, right? See, 2, 4, 8, 6. This is repeating again. See, 2, 4, 8, 6. So I can clearly say that there is a pattern. You can, you can, you can find a pattern here, right? So first term in the series is 2, then 4, then 8, then 6. Again, it's repeating 2, 4, 8, 6. It goes on like that. So I need to find what would be the unit digit of 2 to the power 945 which will be the 945th term in the series in the series that's it basically that's it i need to find in the series what number would be the 945th term in the series that's it so now how will you find it it's not a practical idea to write down the entire series right there should be some logic you can use here so you can see a pattern right the pattern length is 4 here 
every fourth term is going to be 6. Every fourth term is going to be 6. So what you need to do is, you just need to divide 945 by 4. Why you are dividing by 4? Because the pattern length is 4. Every 4 term is divided repeating for that reason you're dividing 945 by 4 and find out what is the remainder i need to find what is the remainder okay that's it if the remainder is one i'm just generalizing it okay if remainder is one the unit digit will be the first term in the series right first term in the series if the remainder is one because you have the the group of four is completed completed and you have one term left so this will be the first term in the series if the remainder is two that means after the completion of that pattern you have two terms left so if remainder is two that will be the second term in the series which is equivalent to four the first term is going to be two here and if the remainder is two it's going to be equal to the second term in the series which is four if the remainder is zero uh, remainder is three Right? When you divide by 4, if the remainder is 3, it's going to be the third term in the series. What's the third term in the series? It's going to be 8. Or I can say 2 to the power 3 is the third term, right? Which is equal to 8. If the remainder is 0, that means when you're dividing a number by 4, these are the only 4 possible remainders. It can be 1, it can be 2, it can be 3 or 0. That means exactly divisible. So, re so 0 means it will be the fourth term. That means it's a multiple of 4, right? 0 remainder means multiple of 4. That means every fourth term is going to be the, the unit digit is 6. So, it's going to be same as 2 to the power 4. Right? You don't need to remember the pattern length, pattern here. What you just need to know is uh, the fourth term is same as 2 to the power 4. So it's going to be equal to 2 to the power 4 is 16. The unit digit is 6. So based on the remainder, we will know which term is going to be. And why we are dividing by 4? Because the pattern length is 4. For that reason, I am dividing by 4. So I hope it's clear for you, right? So next step is you divide 945 by 4. What is the remainder? That's it. 945 when you divide by 4. Remember the divisibility rule of 4. Only you just need to divide the last two digit. So 45 you divide by 4. What is the remainder? Remainder is 1. Remainder is 1 means the, the unit digit will be the first term in the series which is equal to 2 is the first term. Right? 2 to the power 1. 2 is the first term. So your answer here is option A is the right answer for the question. So there are many uh, properties that you learned. First thing is uh, only the unit digit is affecting the unit digit of the product. So here the numbers 5724 is not important at all. Next is try to identify a pattern in the powers of 2 when you're dealing with the unit digit and see a pattern and understand what is a pattern length. So here the pattern length is 4. So you, you need to divide the power by 4. And find out the remainder. So the unit digit is based on the remainder you are getting when you divide the power by 4. So I, I hope you understood the reason. right? If the remainder is 1, it's going to be first term in the series. That means you have that complete uh, pattern block. After that, you have one term left. So it should be the first term in the series. Based on that, you can have the corresponding numbers based on the remainder you are getting. So these are the only four possible remainders. So this is the explanation for here. So as a homework, you can what you can do is you can try to find out the, the pattern length of other digits. Let's say 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, all the digits. Try to figure out is there any pattern you can find out when you take the powers of these digits. That will help you out to deal with any such questions uh, of this format.